Ladies and gentlemen, more DirectX 12 discussion. I feel that's a very good idea since not only are you all very interested in it, but yet more information has come to light over the last day or two. So, we've got a bit of information from Phil Spencer as well as from developers regarding DirectX 12, uh, uh, DirectX 12 and what it could mean for us as gamers. So we're going to start out with Phil Spencer first, as well as a bit of uh, conjecture and speculation on my part. Uh, Phil Spencer, who is of course at Xbox P3, said, and I quote, We knew what DX12 was doing when we built the Xbox One. So it's a bit of an ambiguous tweet, and it's probably the bit of information we have the least of in this uh, little roundup video. But it can be taken in a very interesting way. Because you might recall when we were doing the Xbox One breakdown slash SDK analysis video. Obviously, well, technically we've got a couple of videos as well as a couple of articles on it. Go ahead and check them out if you've not already done so. But when we were going over the GPU one, uh, we were going over, of course, the fact that the Xbox One's GPU has two GCPs, or Graphic Command Processors, which um, isn't normal. Typically there's only one. One leading theory behind this is because of the fact that one of them is being used to render uh, the GUI. In other words, to kind of uh, basically listen to instructions and to issue uh, instructions to the graphics card to render things such as Snap and Operating System functionality, but... There are some points in the SDK documentation which are a bit ambiguous and they actually say that some functionality is going to be pulled in. But it's a bit odd because from what we know of the Xbox One, uh, based on SDK information and from leaks and so on and so forth, the Xbox One's GPU is DX11.1. And I believe it's pronounced Bonaire, Bonaire uh, which is B-O-N-A. I R E, but of course there are some bits and bobs that um, Microsoft have done in terms of cu some customization. So it really is a bit ambiguous on exactly what is and what isn't supported at the moment of the Xbox One's GPU. But moving on from the Xbox One, just for a second, let's now talk about some uh, tweets from the CEO of Stardock, who is known, of course, as Brad Wardell. Brad has put out a tweet, well, a couple of tweets, actually, where he was running an Intel 5960X under just insane amounts of load, uh, pretty much maxing out 100% CPU load, and then points out that DirectX 11 could never handle this, and then says, uh, and I quote, that image is why... At Intel Gaming should be very excited about DirectX 12 and Mantle. That screenshot is on a 5960X. So I just want you to think about this for a second. The 5960X is not a quad-core CPU, but an 8-core CPU. And furthermore, it has hyper-threading. In other words, there are 16 threads on this circuit. And it is running at maximum frequency i don't know if it's got any overclocking but let's just assume for the sake of argument it doesn't so it's running at eight thre uh, 16 threads i'm sorry um 100 cpu usage simply because of DirectX 12 that's pretty impressive and that will give you an indication as to potential cpu scaling which is one of the reasons that i've been saying for some time now that i honestly believe that DX12, when it's released, is going to have a significant shake-up for PC gaming. And another reason that I was saying that if you're not sure whether you should buy, let's say, or wait for Skylake, and obviously Skylake has been delayed a bit, um, and you need a CPU upgrade right now, then it's probably better just to go for a cheaper CPU and then upgrade later this year slash early next year, depending on when your funds can allow it, because I think the multiple core processes are going to become increasingly important for gaming. But anyway, quite interesting stuff. Rounding things off, we're going to make a quick blast over um, at DirectX 12 um, with the Xbox One just for a second. This is final little comment. Uh, someone asked Aaron Greenberg, um, will DX12 affect the Xbox One substantially? Or is it going to be, you know, PC primarily? 
But Aaron Greenberg said, and I quote, it's going to affect both, but developers are going to have to make use of it. In other words, eh, well, it's not just going to be normal. It's going to be something that developers are really going to have to put their effort behind. And But this does go against what Phil Spencer said uh, back in, I believe it was like June, July, something along those lines of 2014, where he said that that's not actually the case. He said it's not going to be a massive change for the Xbox One. He said that, you know, it's going to be faster, it's going to be better, but it's not going to be massive. So I'm just going to have, I guess we're just going to have to wait and see on that one. Anyway, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. As I said, it's been a bit of a bitsy slash DX12 roundup since I've missed some parts over the last couple of days and I just want to clarify that. A uh, big shout out to the person who did message me about the Phil Spencer thing uh, on facebook.com slash redgamingtech. I won't give his name for obviously privacy reasons but he knows who he is. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed the video. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now. If you can do the normal comments slash share slash like slash internet hugs I would be muchas gracias. Anyway, take care. Bye for now. Yeah.